Welcome to Creatively Exposed, a podcast and safe space for Black and marginalized creatives to empower, educate, and uplift you through the final product of self and creation. Bring a homie, share with a homie, and enjoy the show. Attempting to record this again, um, I am not at home, so I'm at my mama's house. So I don't have my headphones. Things might be a little different on the sound thing, but I didn't want to leave you all without an episode. And so this will be a short episode. Um, Welcome to Creatively Exposed at my mom's house. And so you might hear things in the background, but just uh, bear with me. This is a few time thing. So this weekend, I had the honor to be a part of a dope workshop, and it is called Voodoo Knots Summer Workshop. I am a fellow alum now, Um, and what it is is a creative writing Afrofuturism workshop and there were people from all parts of the globe um black people y'all like legit a whole workshop of black people with generative um lessons and and talks and just it felt so good like it's still I'm still on that high it was started by Shanghai and I hope I'm saying her name right, sorry, and Yvette. And check Voodoo at Voodoo Not on Twitter. It is Voodoo N A U T S uh V O O D O O and um Wow I got selected to be one of the 25 brilliant black people in there. It just feels so good. (coughs) So what we did, it it consisted of two days, Friday and Saturday. And we had the orientation, basically. Then we had our first class, which was making the familiar into the uncanny. So think of kind of like Jordan Peele vibes of like making a regular thing into some really weird shit. Um, But it was just so amazing. So, so amazing to be able to give new give regular things life. So that was the first one with Yvette um the second one and mind you all of the people that were uh teaching and doing discourse in the generative workshops all of these people are doing the work um some are part of MFA programs published people books magazines like accolades 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 like these it's not somebody um who just got a degree and maybe does it from time to time or whatever i say that because i have encountered an experience but that's not what we're talking about right now the second one was a um about abolitionist and just basically envisioning the world without all of the oppressive systems that don't allow black people to thrive if we keep it at a buck um or two virgils um so wow to create a world without barriers placed on us what would that look like that's a future that doesn't exist just yet but what would it look like and we were divided into groups which was super cool i didn't know that zoom does that so that's beyond interesting um and these are actual group 
conversations and 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 work that I enjoy doing cuz you know sometimes you get in a group and you're like oh I don't know but it was it was so high vibrational and, and we were all so excited that it was always good like it was just always good like boom 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 and then we had the talk um with the author of Friday Black and that is phenomenal like I learned so much and even his book that I had seen but I hadn't taken the time to read and so we it was required reading for the book the book club discussion and just to be in the space of somebody who has been published and um, has had a really interesting debut career. It's just interesting. like, And the way that his mind works and the way that he created his book, yo, like... So let me just read you a little synopsis. You hear my mom in the background, right? Um, Friday Black is a 2018 debut book by Nana Kwame set in a dystopian near future of things that will mess your head up. The collection of stories explores themes about black identity uh, as it relates to now, period, um, it has a positive reception, but there are some, there's some, like, there's some shit in there. Like, there's not a way to completely describe it. Whatever you came with, whatever preconceived notion that you thought it was going to be, it will never be. You will be thrown off in every single short story there is humor there is some horrific stuff going on there's some black mirror type shit going on there's there's all kinds of stuff but it's hard conversations um and this is from like what he said it's like hard conversations that some people run away from being had you know it's kind of like all of your elephants in the room are brought in to this like black ass world that you're just like whoa so it's I really enjoyed it I haven't even finished it because sometimes I had to put it down and I was like well I was I was not ready for this so it's a form of magical realism in there so check it out um and one like one of many nuggets because many 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 nuggets one of his key major keys was like your work damn i forgot the quote basically your creations will make it happen for you let the work talk for you You don't got to do all that extra stuff. I mean, if you know the extra stuff, like if you know how to market yourself, if you have a network, cool. But also make sure that what you're creating is from the deepest, dopest, most truest part of you. And it will speak for itself. It will do the legwork, basically. That's day one, okay? After that, I um, had a moment to myself. And went into a conversation um, hosted by at Stories by Imani on IG. She is a safe space provider for Black women. And that's all Black women, not just a certain kind. And we ended on the note of self-affirming. And so... I wanted to affirm myself. Um, My affirmation was basically an affirmation from one of my besties who I wish he would understand the majorness in which a lot of what I do now 
would not ever have been possible without his words of encouragement and saying, what if you fly? Like, that's legit. He's been saying that to me before it became a thing in his own way. And I am always so grateful. I have been tripping on something that I am creating and trying to force it into a space that I'm like, why am I doing this, though? And it's blocked me from being able to complete it. And so he reminded me, like, bump all this other whatever you got going on. It's not supposed to be this way. You are the sauce. The reason why they're signing up for that thing, picking you, choosing this thing that you made is because of you. So, if you have been struggling with perfectionism, imposter syndrome, self-doubt, whatever that is, what you're creating, no one can do. They can, anyone else can make the same exact thing, but it's still going to miss you in that thing. And that's the thing, like, you are the sauce. You are the secret ingredient to whatever you're creating. It's too much bread to be making bread. Go to the bread aisle. There is a different label. You know what I'm saying? There is no, there is space for everyone. There is space for you. Allow yourself to take up that space. You are the sauce, period. Sit with that. As long as we are creating from the dopest, truest, honest, and sincerest place, the rest doesn't matter. It's not supposed to be something else. It doesn't have to be no kind of way. You made it. You created it. It is worthy. Period. I don't mean don't go back and check and make sure and refine Cool, do that. But like, you are the sauce. Then I ended on the highest note. Black is king. Period. We like Beyonce over here. We needed this love letter. I even got emotional. My mom might come into this, but um beautiful love letter that black people consistently need to celebrate ourselves to be joyful to feel worthy this is why representation is paramount to all of us it just feels good to be seen to see yourself to be loved on by a complete stranger because they love themselves. They love the people around them. Like that's that's the magic of all of this. And so with this Aquarius full moon, that's literally what it is. Um, I'll get back to that. Second day, we have the concept of using our true language in our stories without having to code switch and conform for what is palatable and acceptable. Lit. Um, One of the founders, Shingai, put me on. Um, I feel like I've heard of Kamal Brathwaite, but I didn't didn't get to enjoy their works. Um, And I got to read one of the parts of it wow wow like I don't feel like I've used words like that before so play with the use of you know um patois creole pigeon whatever it is that's like what you use at home with your people in your creations and see what happens. You know, 
I talk about words, but that that's anything. That's 